Hey guys, this is Regresso and today I'm going to review this TP-Link Archer C6 wireless router. Now, I have unboxed this router like 3 weeks ago and I posted the unboxing video and in that video I got a lot of questions and uh, queries regarding this router. So I thought of making a review video for this router and I have also noted down all the questions uh, from the comment section of that video and I'll try to answer those questions uh, uh, as best for possible from my side. So without any further delay, let's get started. So before getting started with the question, let's first of all talk about this router itself. So this is the TP-Link Archer C6 uh, version 3.2 and this is the US variant. It's also available in EU variant. Uh, the Regarding the variants, I'll talk about later in this video. Uh, and this is a dual band router with 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz wide band. And it is capable of transmitting 1200 Mbps of speed uh, combining both the bands. It does support uh, the WPA3 feature, then a lot of the new features like One Mesh, MU MIMO, uh, all of these features are supported by this router. And this router also has a gigabit switch, so it does support the gigabit network. So this was the quick uh, specification overview of this router. And the remaining features of this router will be covered in the later part of video as I proceed with the questions. So let's, so let's start with the questions. So first question, is it a modem or just a router? Now this is only a router, it does not have any like um, fiber input or an ADSL input. It, sim it is simply a router which can like create a wireless network on dual band and has a gigabit switch, that's it. So you should have a fiber ONT or ONU or a ADSL modem at your place uh, through which a LAN cable will come into this router in order to uh, let this router work. So it does not uh, have any modem capabilities into it. Second, why I'm getting only 50 Mbps on 2.4 GHz band. Now this question is related to the unboxing video of this router because in that video I demonstrated the speed test of this router on 2.4 GHz band and it was only uh, showing 50 Mbps max throughput uh, in that video. So this question is regarding that. So it was due to like uh, the frequency. It was neither the uh, case with uh, the uh, router or it was neither my fault. It, by default it was set to 20 megahertz that's why it was colliding with some another network within my area so I, the moment i switched it to auto mode uh, it was working fine and uh, now it's like delivering 80 plus mbps speed on 2.4 gigahertz band so if you have the same issue like try switching it to 40 megahertz or like auto mode and it will work fine third can i use it with xyz isp now this was the most recurring question in the comment section of that video. So can we use this router with different ISPs like like uh, Geo, Airtel, BSNL, Act Fibernet, Alliance Broadband. So these are the different ISPs. So can we use this router with those uh, ISPs? So I'll, I'll try to simply uh, answer this question as briefly as possible. So let's assume that uh, we have a connection like one and two. First one is the fiber one. Second one is the ADSL or the standard copper line or through the telephone lines. So in order to access this connection, we need a different types of modems. So for fiber, we need ONT or ONU devices to convert this fiber line into a standard ethernet cable internet. Then in case of like telephone or ADSL connection, we need an AD ADSL modem in order to use the internet. So like every ISP will provide uh, the proper fiber modem or ADSL modem uh, according to the connection that we have chosen. So once we have that, all of these fiber modems or ADSL modem will have at least one port for sharing this internet uh, on the next level. Now next level we can consider it as like we have taken connection for a simple terms like we have taken a connection liya hai, uh, for a certain organization. Now we have a individual ke liye ek al alag connection for each individual. So we will split this connection internally split karenge using a local network which we call LAN network. So we will split this internet ko internally split karenge, lage to, higher bandwidth ka connection lenge but usse internally split kar denge taki sabko access mil sake so second level pe uh, at the second level we basically use different types of devices like switches hubs and routers or wireless routers so these are the devices which is used for like distributing that one internet connection into multiple internet connections uh, simultaneously inside the network so at this stage we use this router so in one line simple conclusion we can say that we can use this router with any uh, broadband ISPs available out there. Like in case of Airtel and Geo, they provide uh, their own uh, ONT uh, and wireless router uh, from their side, so that's not an issue. But in case where an ISP do not provide a good quality of like wireless router, in that case we definitely we can definitely use this router. Or even in case of Geo and Airtel, we can do that as well. We need to simply like plug in uh, one of the LAN port from that router 
uh, or that ONT or ONU and directly into the WAN port of this router and it will start working fine. So yes, we can technically and practically use this router with any internet connection uh, from any ISPs out there. So I hope this answers the question as this was the most recurring question in the comment section of this video. Then fourth we have uh, how to enable the MU MIMU on this router. Now if you are like trying to uh, enable this from the mobile device it won't work because for that you have to log into that web configuration of this router using some laptop or PC. So simply navigate to the configuration utility and open the advanced system settings and from there you will get enable TX MU MIMU like option there and you can uh, simultaneously switch on and off for both the band and do note that this feature will work only with the devices that supports MU MIMO technology. Uh, it will not work on all of the device uh, like available out there. What speed do I get on FTP mode? Now this is one of the most interesting question and even I found it like very interesting when somebody like posted this question. So what are the FTP speeds that we get on this router? Like I have connected like uh, I'm like I'm sharing some files from my mobile to like my laptop through this wireless router then what speeds I uh, would be getting. So I have tested with uh, this mobile to my this laptop. The laptop is having an SSD uh, and I was like getting 200 Mbps of like constant speed while transferring the files between phone and uh, the laptop. It might get even higher than that. Uh, my, it might be limited due to my phone because the laptop is running SSD. So 200 Mbps is nowhere it's going to be um, like going to be below that if you are having like good uh, assist, good uh, discs on your both of this uh, source and target machine uh, so for FTP like if you have a file server at your place then definitely and I'm talking about the wireless speeds I have not checked uh, using the wired connections definitely it will have a better speed in case of wired connection so in case of FTP or SMB it's it's good very really very good then the next question is does it support WDS bridge mode uh, again this was very very frequent and recurring question and yes this router does support the WDS uh, mode and uh, we can enable it again from the advanced system settings for from there you have the option for enabling it for both the bands the WDS mode so yeah it does support the WDS mode what is the range of 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz band both of the range of both the dual bands so like I have a three story house oh, at my place and I've kept this router at like a second floor and I'm easily able to get the range of 2.4 gigahertz on like like until end of my house uh, which was the case of like dead spot in my previous uh, in case of my previous router so definitely compared to that this one is way much better and I like I'm able to like get the signals like about one to two bars uh, most probably like around like 10 to 15 mbps so i can like transmit uh, the whatsapp messages easily and even i can like stream some video as well but uh, it's like um, not that stable sometimes it does get disconnected but 80 percent of the time it does work fine even in the dead spots which was not the case with my older router so 2.4 gigahertz range is really very good like uh, in terms of uh, distance i could say like around uh, like uh, 30 feet if you have like a lot of walls in between 30 feet is good thing and about like transmitting upwards and downwards uh, like on the bottom floor I, I could easily get the 5 gigahertz network as well so again that's really very very good thing and uh, regarding the topmost part yeah I'm able to get a 2.4 gigahertz but uh, like sometimes I do get the 5 gigahertz and sometimes it does fall off so uh, yeah the range is like uh, both good you can say but not very great but okay again if you have like a, like a three-story building it can easily suffice the need so yeah does it heat up uh, no it does not heat up at all it's it stays uh, cool all the time even when it is under load because like I have uh, like again 11 to 12 devices connected simultaneously simultaneously to this router every time like like the smart bulb the Alexa and all of the other devices like mobile devices laptops and PCs and they work all the time and it does not heat up at all and I never switch off the router so the router runs like 24 7 and I never felt an issue like it's overheating or like the performance is degrading so yeah in case of that it does not over it at all then after that we have difference between the C6 and Archer A6 now again this is one of the most recurring question and a lot of people have doubts regarding this question as well so I'll pick up this question. So what is the difference between an Archer C6 and Archer A6? So technically in terms of design, like I'm talking about the latest version, like version three and version three of that. 
they look exactly the same in terms of design the hardware specifications like and number of antenna placements uh, and uh, uh, the ports available at the back side exactly the same internals the cpu then interfaces whatever the features they provide exactly the same both of the products are exactly the same now why they're like uh, what is the difference between them so only difference is the series now this is because the tp-link is selling the a6 version in the european market and c6 for the us market now if i'm wrong at this point do let me know in the comment section if i'm like interchange the regions for these series so this is only the difference rest everything is exactly the same because both of the routers are exactly the same from internals only thing is that they are selling in different regions that why they are in different series so that's the basically difference so even if you get a6 it's a good deal and even if you get c6 it's completely fine both of the routers are exactly the same so yeah these are all the questions that i found it interesting in that comment section of that video so yeah so if you have any other questions or queries do let me know in the comment section of this video i'll try to pick up those questions as well so yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys if you found this video really helpful then do the like button subscribe button and stay tuned for more such videos so thank you guys thanks for watching